compared to arms and drug trafficking. The most lucrative criminal activity is actually human trafficking. Trafficking in human beings for the purpose of exploitation in the first place. When someone has been squeezed to the point of having no value at all. That brings us to step 2. Also trafficking in human organs. Until 2018, about 8 million people are trafficked every year. 49% women. 23% girls, 28% male. Because for the traffickers, women are better in control and easier to trust. More importantly, women are trafficked to extract a much higher value of production than men. In Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, Diana, a 16-year-old girl in her prime. She's like most girls her age. She's beautiful, she loves to dress up, she's even a little vain. With her good looks, Diana had a dream of becoming a model since she was a child. She always dresses up beautifully. She's looking forward to modeling someday. And her father, like most traditional fathers, her father hates it when his daughter wears makeup. Because her father thinks she has to study hard. It's the right thing to do at her age. But Diana didn't think so. She hates to read and she's not happy with her ordinary life. She wants to make money. Diana wants to make a decent living for her family sooner rather than later. She wants to go to modern city as soon as possible. That's what led her into the abyss. That day, she received an invitation for an interview. It's a modeling agency in New York. There are a lot of girls coming for interviews. Brokers, photographers and professional cameras. Everything looks very formal. Diana is very excited because this might be her chance to change her destiny. She passed the interview. At night, she lied to her father and set out on her own journey to follow her dreams. After getting off the plane, she was put in a van. She couldn't understand why the woman next door looked so sad until the woman on the way whispered to her. These people are human traffickers. His name is Helena. A week ago, Helena was tricked into coming here by scammers using different tactics. As a single mom, she failed to resist the sweet advances of a fine young man. After entrusting his daughter to her family, Helena set out on her own quest for love. And when she crosses the miles to see a man again, he's changed his attitude. The man then sold her to a trafficker. They were taken to an abandoned factory. A couple of burly men made them stand in a line. Then strip. The chief came here. He told the girls. I've brought you to the New York of your dreams. At first, you'll need to work to pay off your expensive airfare. If any of you try to escape, we'll use anything to get back at your family. The girls were placed in different areas. And Diana was assigned to meet the boss alone. Because she just got off the plane and hasn't been educated yet. And that's when it happened. A piece of news broke his original plan. They don't just operate in Eastern European countries. A little American girl was kidnapped in Southeast Asia. This news attracted a lot of public attention. He called his men immediately. Ask if he did it. The men denied it. He lied because he wants the girl for himself. This is the biggest bar street in the Philippines. Manila, capital of Philippines. This was occupied by the U.S. Army. Because of the historical legacy, it became a paradise for some European and American men. Poor people's children are sold to traffickers for 8,000 and then resell it to the bar. When the industry chain is formed, for the sake of high profiteering, even kidnapping tourists in the street is not uncommon. Anne's parents went to the local police after she was kidnapped. The police, on the other hand, are looking for all sorts of reasons. The government needs to rely on the sex industry to drive the economy, so they don't want to be in charge of it. Police in action. Annie's parents had to figure it out on their own. He's got a video camera here. After sending the video, there was a huge public outcry. Pressured by public opinion, government finally opens crackdown on trafficking of women and children across the U.S. And this was more than a month. After Diana and Helena were abducted, they work until they're exhausted every day, waking up in a dark basement with a screen screaming dream. She chose to run away, and the consequences nearly cost her life. To punish Diana for running away, she was also forced to make an adult movie. Just today, the place where they were has been discovered by the police. The action is today. The police entered the secret door of the beauty parlor. They found the basement where the girl was being held. Helena and a lot of women were saved. But when they arrived at the police station, and no one wants to make a charge or come forward with information, because everyone is like Helena, they're afraid their families will be hurt. Snap your kid's neck like a wishbone. After they've had their talk, the police learned that Helena was worried about her daughter's safety. They decided to bring her daughter to America so as to allay her fears. The following day, after she received the news that her daughter had boarded the plane, Helena has nothing to worry about. Decision to testify. However, she had just arrived at the residence prepared for her by the police. Helena was killed by an ambush sniper. The only person who would testify was assassinated. This made the other girls even more afraid to say a word to the police. This newspaper, it also quickly appeared in the hands of Diana, 
who was still under control. This makes her even more desperate. Diana wanted to end her life. After being rescued, there's even more brutal torture. On the other side of Manila, abducted Annie. She was there when the traffickers weren't looking. She dialed her mother's number on her cell phone. And it's me. Annie? Oh my god, baby. Baby, are you okay? Ask her where she is quick. There's no time to say more. The trafficker is back in the room. The mother heard her daughter being abused. As a mother, she still couldn't hold back. You bastard! Okay. The traffickers knew the police would soon trace the nest here. By phone, he moved all the children overnight, reselling them to other countries. Another day of waking up from a nightmare. Another new batch of girls being sold here from Mexico. And it was Diana's father who escorted them. She double-checked that she wasn't hallucinating. She didn't realize it wasn't a dream until her father got closer and closer. If the identity is revealed at this point, both father and daughter could be in danger. They exercised restraint. The father could only watch as his daughter daughter was taken to the car. Diana after she left without saying goodbye, her father searched for her. His father found out about the modeling agency his daughter went to through a classmate, and then through a comrade in arms. He infiltrated this modeling agency. The owner's name is Sergei. It's a company that traffics women. He came back to his room, after his daughter was sent away, overheard the girl being abused in the video. It's your own daughter. He can only suppress his anger. He's got to find a way to get his daughter out of there right now. But he's not Superman. Just an ordinary father. He was on a police operation. He befriended Kate, the policewoman. After learning the true identity of the man, they're planning to work together to capture Sergei. Every time a new batch of abducted girls, Sergei will be there. Kate decided to take the bait. They're waiting for Sergei to show up, and then they're gonna take him down. Sergei showed up here. He could tell right away that Kate was on the older side. He's suspicious. The police were already outside the door. They've also been instructed to move. Kate realized Sergei sensed something was wrong. She took direct action. Alarmed. Don't move! Those who swim in sin are finally silenced in sorrow. As much as we all want the world to be bright, but it does come in many colors. Black, gray, and white. I advise you never to test the colors of humanity. Because when prophets reach 100%, someone who dares to trample on all the laws. When the prophet reaches 300%, some people take big risks. Human trafficking as the most profitable criminal activity. Until 2018 about 8 million people were still being trafficked every year. The way they lie to you. It could be a beautiful encounter. Or an interview for a job. Or maybe a trip to Southeast Asia.